Uh, yes, everybody's clear. Um, <laughs> also, Mike is, uh, if you got the video, you can see the Mike is, uh, he's got the, uh, the COVID hairstyle going on that uh, uh, many are dealing with. Uh, your <laughs> eyebrows have never looked more groucho than they do at the moment. <laughs> you can trim true. those. You don't need a specialist for that, Mike. Do you know, I'll tell you 100%, like, Jimmy, I, I always love uh, talking to you. Uh, whenever I come into the studio now, I have new sneakers on because of one time you said something about my not new sneakers. And it's good. It's good to buy new sneakers once in a while. And here's the thing. I'm wearing long pants that are actual, like, work. You know, like, I would dress to in these for work to go out to do comedy. I'm, I'm doing comedy work right now. I've put them on. And the eyebrows, the only reason that I have the eyebrows Eyebrows, that they haven't been trimmed in not only the quarantine time, but months and months beyond that is my girlfriend who I live with, who I love and who is the person who I care most what she thinks of my appearance and my my whole life. Really, I care nothing for what any of you think. She <laughs> loves these eyebrows. I don't think she's trying to just repel other people by keeping like an armor of eyebrow around me. I think she loves old man Jewish eyebrows. They can actually I can pull them to beneath my eye uh, oh. and they're just they're they're they have a life of their own. Almost they're characters in our lives. They're turning into butterflies almost They're uh, So look, I go to the, the barber and I say, give me a haircut. And they're like, and for sure you want us to cut those eyebrows. It's not even a question. They're like, want us to cut those eyebrows. You, you do want us to. And I say, unfortunately, my wonderful girlfriend who, I mean, fortunately, she has an aesthetic uh, of visual beauty that she, she has for herself, for our home, and for me. And so these eyebrows are uh, courtesy Rini Voskresensky. <laughs> That's her name. I mean, so, yeah, I got the thing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think, I didn't think it was the name of the salon that you were going to. <laughs> um, well, Mike, I think, honest to God, if you said Mike Kaplan's joining you and you did, and I didn't know that, you just popped up on the screen, I may not know it's you. You are you are very much in disguise with that thick beard, mm. uh, thicker than I've ever seen it. Uh, uh, the the eyebrows again are groucho like in nature, and your hair looks uh, pr uh, professorial. A guy, a pr professor who didn't have time to shower before he came to class. I've been doing too much preparation of the information for the class. I think it's much more important to get that out there. We're, we're trying to solve this virus, you know. I don't have time to shower and wash the virus off of my body. <laughs> right. Good for you. I, well, thank you, Professor, for all your hard work. Uh, itching my arm in a way that I've never done before. <laughs> Reaching over in a way that is awkward and weird. Uh, I like that. Mike, Mike, Mike looks like if uh, if Judd Hirsch lost 80 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's are either people happy with that comparison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like you took a you just took a big swipe across all of Judaism. <laughs> I think Judd Hirsch is a good looking guy who's done well for himself. Why not be compared to him? I agree. I, I think Judd Hirsch is a good looking guy, and uh, the only reason I have to say that is because everyone thinks that maybe I don't think that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit NeverNotFunny.com.